Hi, Brian McCorder with another video on making positive change. I want to talk about what it is to have a healthy team. Um, it's interesting to look at that our brain and a healthy team function the exact same way. If you've ever seen Simon Sinek's concept of the golden circle, um, this is along that line and it really does work the same way the golden circle fits in this structure very well. Again, if you look at the brain, how our brain functions, and how a team works is the exact same way, even to the point that the same hormones uh, are released. So with a brain, we're gonna look at three main elements. Our neurons, synaptic activity, the neural pathways, and dendrites. Okay, in a team, we have people, communication, and relationships. Okay, your brain has billions of neurons. The purpose of a neuron is to store and share information. Okay, it's equivalent in that team are the people, the team members. Uh, it's like psychologists have always told us, it's not how many neurons you have, it's how many you're actually using. Same with your team. It's not how many people you have on the team, how many are actively engaged. So, the synaptic activity, the way neurons connect with each other, communicate, is through synapse. Uh, the more those neurons fire, the stronger the synaptic activity is, the stronger those neural pathways become. You may have heard that, you know, neurons that fire together, wire together. The more often you think something or work on something, you know, doing math, playing an instrument, whatever, you get better and better at it as those neural pathways get stronger and stronger. The more often people communicate with each other, they get to anticipate how each other will respond. They get to uh, trust one another. They communicate better and better. They bond with each other. Again, those, uh, that uh, neural pathway, uh, that communication becomes easier and more fluid, more uh, dynamic. Again, there's fewer misunderstandings because they understand each other so well. The last one with the brain, dendrites. Dendrites are formed when you have lots of neural activity. Uh, one of the things when they studied Albert Einstein's brain, they found that he had a, a large number of dendrites. Albert Einstein always talked about keeping a childlike wonder, asking lots of questions, you know, looking at life through the eyes of a child, not being childish, but childlike, always wanting to learn. Um, when you have lots of neurons firing in a part of your brain, <clears throat> they will, uh, dendrites will form, which are actually looking to make neural connections with other neurons. So picture them as like branches of the tree, again, looking to connect with uh, other neurons. Now, what would be the equivalent with a team? Well, as you have people working together well, with good communication, good integrity, it spawns relationships. Others watch and they want to be a part of that. Hey, have you met Bob? He's a really good guy. He's got good integrity. He's fun to work with and he'll really help you with your project. Have you met Mary? Uh, just such an empathetic, good person. You know, she's so much fun to work with. Such a positive attitude. Again, relationships are what happen from having integrity, good communication, and you know, getting to be known as a person that is enjoyable to be with and work with. The brain, the team, same thing. A team is literally an expanded brain. I mentioned the hormones. When you are working with a team, when you help somebody, you get uh, doses of serotonin and oxytocin. You've heard it as that feel-good effect, that helper's high, that warm glow effect. When someone watches you do a kind act, it encourages them to do a kind act up to seven degrees of separation, like ripples in a pond. That's pretty amazing. So when you have individuals in your team that are working well with others, their brain is releasing oxytocin and serotonin. As you're accomplishing things, you're also getting shots of dopamine, adrenaline, and it helps to fight off the evil hormone of cortisol, which triggers fight or flight. Uh, when we're dealing with a lot of anxiety, again, we get that cortisol released, uh, triggering fight or flight response. We're not meant to have that, you know, regularly uh, release in our system. The more you're working with friends, uh, people that you enjoy being with, 
uh, really counteracts the cortisol and probably won't even um, release near as much because you're in a good environment with lower anxiety. Remember, for individuals in a team, there are only two core benefits that they enjoy, protection and amplification of effort. And you'll only get that second one by supplying that first one. When people feel protected emotionally, professionally, physically, then they can engage and you'll accomplish so much more. Then you get the benefit of true synergy, a real team with everybody actively engaged. It should be a tribe, a community. You're one of us. We protect our own. Then it's all about focusing on, you know, what is the goal? What are we trying to do? And enjoying the day. Again, if you're not doing that, if you've got your people, but you are using them like management, not leadership, you're not meeting their needs emotionally, professionally, keeping them safe physically, then guess what? You don't have a team, you got a group of people. And you probably got a lot of people that are looking to go somewhere else as soon as they can. Till next time, Brian McCorder. Keep making the positive changes.